small video, it'd be very windy. I've arrived at my campsite, which is just a ten quarter of an hour walk down to the beach here. There's Porlock over there, and I'm going up in the hills tomorrow. I'm going over those hills one of the other days, and then I'm doing another big walk from Minehead. The tide's coming in, it'll be high tide at six o'clock. Apparently. Uh, they're turning off, look. They're turning off. Yeah, some people ahead of me, because you've got to be careful, you can get cut off. That bridge there, that little bridge, apparently the sea comes in behind you. I thought I'd just do a little bit of video, now I've got down here. I'm going to try and get out here another day for the uh, sunset. Beautiful, isn't it? It'll be very windy. I've been up on those hills before, but I'm going to go even further this week. That's plan A. Bosington Hill, I'll also be coming down that in a couple of days time. I've done all this. I haven't walked along here. I was hoping the tide would have been out tonight so I could do this without worrying about getting cut off or anything and having to run across bog. There is a path somewhere, I'm going to join it in a minute, but I just thought I'd do a bit more of this. Over and out. Right, it's not so windy now, I've come over the other side. But what's scary is that sea is rolling. And because you can't hear it, what I'm half expecting is to see a huge wave come over the top in a minute. You can hear it, you can just put hear it, and it's like, suddenly it's going to appear. And all this will be flooded and I'll be stuck. It is high tide season. But there's a pole here and I've just seen some people go that way, right? I've just seen some people go that way, but I might have to leave it to another night to come out again and get down where there's a building on the beach, an old stone building. So there's Bosington Hill, look. And, uh, oh, I'll probably just be sensible and follow the rules. I'll go back up again one more time to have a look before I go down there, though. So that looks like a way out down there. Hear that? It's quiet. Quiet. I just want to go up to that wall though before I do anything like that. Look, there ain't no signs. Look. I don't tell you which way to go, do it. I know those people went over towards that um <laughs> there's an orchard over there. And I actually got lost there once. I got lost in the orchard and some woman who had a dog heard me shouting out I'm lost. Because I was, right? And she came and got me out. It was like a maze in there. It was very tall. And of course I'd never been there in my life. Um, so, and it was getting late. I'd already done a massive hike. I'd been out all day walking. And uh, so I hopefully that won't happen to me tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm going up in the hills. Going right up in that hook, hook hook something or other um, wood. I'm going to find a little church called St. Piro or Pero. That's what I'm doing. Uh, 
six o'clock's high tide, so I've still got a bit of time actually. I can hear it though. I can hear it. See, look, this is the. Um, let me just go back up there and have another look. See how close it's getting first. I'll just keep the camera rolling. Because we got, a, we can make a decision here whether to turn back or not. As I can see horses up there, I don't fancy walking through horses. Let's just go back up here a minute. The big horses. It'll be windy again. These pebbles get thrown about by the tide. Yeah, so I was down there a minute ago, and it is coming in. It's starting to come up the bank. It's starting to come up the bank down there. See, there's horses. Too many horses for me to go through that field up there. But there is time just for me to walk to that building. And then back here, I run.